So it is then the highest death toll amongst its staff in a single incident. That from the UN's Palestinian refugee agency, UNRWA, as six staff members were killed as two airstrikes hit a school in central Gaza. The manager of the shelter amongst those killed, as well as other team members, whose job UNRWA says had been to provide assistance to displaced people. Now, Israel says it conducted a strike on a command and control center in central Gaza, which it says was operated by Hamas. The Hamas-run government says that 18 people were killed in that strike overall. Well, a little earlier on in the program, I spoke to correspondent in Jerusalem, Jordana Miller. The Israeli army says that they targeted this school, which, by the way, has been targeted several times uh, in this war, uh, for uh, Hamas to, to destroy a command and control center that was manned by Hamas. They say that militants there were planning and executing attacks against Israeli soldiers. They were sheltering there. Uh, and we've seen Israel do this before, right? It has hit dozens of UN schools turned shelters, claiming there are Hamas operatives there. Um, and this is another case of that. And it's clearly, uh, we've seen it so many times that uh, in addition to any Hamas militants that are killed, there are often civilians killed. Um, and the UN here saying that six of their workers are killed, they're outraged. Remember, over 200 UN workers have been killed during this war, um, which is a lot of uh, workers for the UN in such a short period of time. Um, it, it, it speaks to how dangerous this war is, how densely populated it is, and also how Hamas uh, appears to operate in every nook and cranny, right? The Israeli army's also gone after Hamas in the humanitarian zone itself. And just a few days ago, we saw deadly strikes there that killed um, also at least uh, 18 people. Uh, in, that, in that strike, the Israeli army named a few of the Hamas militants, but surely they didn't fill a list uh, that would account for all of the dead. Um, and so, you know, it, it is a story, again, that we've seen over and over through this war, where Gazans simply feel there is no place that is truly safe in, in the Strip as they try to stay out of the combat.